My name's Charlie, I'm from Greenpeace, and we're walking around the streets of Sydney today to ask people about democracy and how they think charities fit in with that. Because we suspect that people don't really know much about three bills that are actually being proposed by the government at the moment that would make it a lot harder for charities to do their job and would really impact the democracy that they contribute to. What are some issues happening in the world today that you care about and that you think are important? Maintaining equality around the world. The environment's a big one. Definitely a refugee situation in Australia, I think that's really important. Definitely climate change action. It's the Rohingya crisis. Uh, racism for one and sexist people as well. Why do you think it's important to talk about these issues and to do things about these issues? Because some people aren't aware of like the severity. Because questions of fairness are collective conversations, um, they're collective questions. What role do you think charities play in, in democracy in Australia? They look after areas that people tend to forget about. Because they're on the ground so they're the ones actually dealing with the direct issues. NGOs and that sort of thing they play it a huge role in, in raising, raising awareness. I think in democracy, yeah, they absolutely do kind of give everyone a voice. Do you know about three bills that are currently proposed by the Australian government to silence charities and not-for-profits? No, but I think that's a disgrace. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, not really. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. No. What are they? Yeah, so there's three. The first one is called the Electoral Amendment Bill, and that one basically means that anyone who comments on anything in the public that has a political aspect, we'd have to classify ourselves as political campaigners, and anyone who donates to a political campaigning organisation would have to declare that they're a permanent citizen and resident. That would take away time that we'd be spent trying to meet those regulations away from our advocacy work. And there's another one on foreign espionage. Espionage, like making public human rights issues going on in Australia. Yeah. There's an international interference bill. So if you are part of an international organisation like Amnesty and like Greenpeace, you'd be you could be considered a foreign agent. Yeah, I don't understand the whole point of the Australian government doing something like this. Like, what are they protecting in doing this? making it harder to assemble and putting conditions on speech and forms of protest are really about shrinking the space in which we are able to come together and have arguments about what the good society is. I think governments think they hold all the power. That would just get to the old ways of how a government works. It's like before democracy. It's yeah. ridiculous that they're trying to create so many more difficulties for these organisations that are just trying to get people's voices heard and trying yeah. to make people understand better the issues that are going on and prevent suffering and protect our world. This affects churches, universities, medical research institutions, um, shelters and obviously charities like us, Greenpeace. And so what we're really trying to do is make sure that people are aware of these bills and that they can encourage their MPs and governments to make sure that they don't get passed.